All right, guys, so UFC 298 is this weekend, and the fights are going to be crazy. And once again, I've teamed up with the DraftKings Sportsbook for a great deal. So listen, all of our new customers, we're going to give you a no-sweat bet up to $1,000. So your initial bet, even if it doesn't hit, will get you a bonus up to $1,000 in the amount of your original bet. Use the promo code DCTV to get a no-sweat bet all the way up to $1,000. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use my promo code DCTV to get a no sweat bet. That's my promo code, DCTV, only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. Look, Volkanovski and Taporia is gonna be nuts. So why not show your knowledge at the DraftKings Sportsbook? The crown is yours. Let's get to the video. Another episode of Funky and the Champ. I'm fat. Jamal's like skinny fat. Right? You got you like you. Like you're skinny fat. Take it back. Today I chose violent. I'm suing. <laughs> Sue them. I had to mute on for the fight. Sorry, Daniel. I did mute you. You guys are gonna be lifetime enemies because of the shit you say the moment you get a microphone in your face. Bro, you're crazy. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of Funky and the Champ. I'm Daniel Cormier. That's my guy, Ben Askren. So look, we call in this one the messy episode. Because, dog, all we got is mess, Ben. Like, That's the it. world, the news cycle's been a bit slow. Outside of the things that I love, you feel a tad bit uncomfortable with it. But let me just give this as a disclaimer. I will never, ever muzzle you. I will never <laughs> muzzle you. I will never tell you not to speak your true thoughts. Uh, and it sucks that you finally have found a way to turn your wife against me. Bro, I cannot <laughs> believe you've turned her against me. Bad. <laughs> she was she was like, I, mean, I was sitting next to her, so she was seeing all the texts. Uh you just, you just try you just try to poke and prod. What do you like, mean? So wait, like, she watches your text messages over your shoulder. Yeah, I don't she's care. Like, don't well, we're sitting next to each other. She was right here. And what did she say? I sent you a video. She just laughs. She goes, Daniel always makes you say wild shit. <laughs> ben, you got I a bad reputation. You, I will never, ever muzzle you. So I appreciate you there being your true, honest self. Funky Ben, that's why we all love you. Yes. We all love you because you are a true, uh, which is your I, words, you don't know, hold your tongue. Yeah. I, I try At to say what I can because there's very few people who are willing to actually say, how they feel about everything. Absolutely. And, but there are there's a few things like I texted you something that I'm not gonna say in public. No. Uh, <laughs> because it's just mean. It's just mean. It's just mean. No, it's, it's not, not even that funny. It's, it's actually mean. not mean. No, I it's will not say not it. mean. it's mean. It's not mean. We it will get true. to that later. No, but we won't. Yes, we will, but no. Let's say this, Ben. One person that speaks his mind just like you. Yeah. You guys are kindred spirits. You guys are one and the same, and you have thrown your support publicly. No, no, I pulled back a little you bit have last thrown episode. Your support last episode, no, I said I watched his uh, interview with, oh my gosh, what's the guy with the mullet? Uh, I like him. Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn. I watched the Theo Vaughn episode. I was, ah, I am now very tepid in my support of Sean Strickland. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate some of the things he says. He's freaking wild, man. He's so wild. And and he just had like the wildest 48 hours ever. I mean, can you believe some of the things? So let's start no. with this. He fights the YouTuber. I saw this also with Blake Builder beating up a guy that was talking trash to him. This guy wasn't like a YouTuber or anything. This was like a fan that was talking shit. The kid beat him up. Who's Blake Sean's, Builder? I don't even know who that is. This guy, well, he's a new guy in the UFC. Okay. Tough kid, just got beat. But he beat up a kid at the Orange County RTC, uh, choked the guy out, whatever. Yeah. That's kind of becoming a thing, right? These these guys talk, and these fighters beat him up. Sean Strickland beat up a guy named, uh, what's his name, Ben? Nico. Nico. Guy has a million uh, you Instagram followers, about 50,000 YouTube subscribers, goes to the PI and beats, uh, fight Sean Strickland. Sean beats him up as expected, at the end, Sean said, if you would have just fell down, I would have stopped. But you're very tough. You didn't fall down. 
first thing that pops up to me is the UFC let him do that at the PI. Which that is was kind of crazy right? to me, yes. It just seems like a lawsuit waiting to happen that he's doing that at the PI. Yep. But also, what did you make of Sean just beating on this dude? Well, you know what I didn't like? And uh, I don't know. I guess I was a fighter, and so maybe I shouldn't be able to be uh, on this. Is like the brain trauma. Like, he was trying to hurt that man. Like, Daniel, you know what it looks like when one person is trying to hurt somebody. <laughs> he was trying to hurt that man. and so Really? Yeah, Why? Did you watch it? You I watch watched it. a little bit of it, but I get uncomfortable. I get uncomfortable violent. watching violent. people that are trained fighting people that don't know what they're doing. Yes. It's just so apparent. Yeah, you could just tell he was just jumping into all the punches. You know, he was really putting full force. And so what I thought about is like, I remember I was laughing about this because uh, I thought about this is uh, Peyton Mockley, you know who that is? He wrestles from Missouri. Yep, yep wrestles from Missouri. We were, we were senior. He was a senior in high school. I took a bunch of guys to Super 32, and we actually stayed at Mark Ross's house, one of our old sponsors. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And Mark Ross had boxing gloves, and Peyton starts antagonizing me. And I know I get made fun of for uh, my striking, so people <laughs> probably won't believe this, but I did win 19 fights in a row over the course of 10 years, so you guys can you all did. suck You're, it. Yes, okay? Yes. So I said, all right, I find Peyton. So he put on the gloves. And he starts trying to hit me, and I, you know, I beat him up. And then, you know, hey, I'm not going to hurt this kid because number one, he's got to wrestle, and number two, I just don't feel like hurting untrained combat athletes. So I just give him boom, give him one to the body, and I put him down. Yep. Right. Yep. That's yep. what you do. How come Sean couldn't just give one, this dude one to the body and put him down? Why do you got to hit him like 27 times in the head? Well, because when you think about Sean Strickland, Sean's the guy that tells you if you step in there, you're in for it. He's going to give you exactly what you asked for. So, yeah, but that's, I oh man, you still got to know, that, like, this guy doesn't know. This guy, Sneeko, this guy, he's not a fighter. He just doesn't know what it's like. And Sean got violent on his ass. But Sean is going to beat you up if you step in there. Look, there are times where I want to fight or beat up the people that antagonize me, but then you know you just can't do it. And but I did this guy. I don't think this guy actually antagonized him. I think so this he guy just asked just to agreed. fight Sean Strickland. But that in itself, Ben, is stupid enough to get <laughs> him. Kind of dumb, it's right? Dumb. Like, oh, I want to fight against the guy that says everything. I want to yeah. fight against the guy that told the dude, bro, in Canada, Sean was doing a media scrum, mm -hmm. and he was cussing and he was doing the whole Sean Strickland thing, yeah. and. He looked back at the UFC and they were kind of going, Sean, calm down. And he goes, well, I haven't. No, the guy attacked him. And Sean goes, well, I haven't said the F word yet. And the guy said, well, you just did because he was saying fuck. Yeah. But Sean was talking about the other F the word. The other F word, yeah. Right? So he thought he was being on his good behavior by not saying that word. That dude, <laughs> that's the guy you decide you want to test yourself. Yeah, I in mean, unarmed combat against like for the first time in your life, like come uh, on, man. I guess equal. I guess equally dumb. I guess. So, yeah. I so essentially, you got exactly what you asked for. Yeah, but you're still the. I mean, Sean. I listen as wild as he is. This is and this is where I think he can take a step up. He can say, "I'm wild. I can put you down with a body shot. It ain't gonna hurt mm -hmm. you. I'm gonna go ha ha ha." I'm going to hit you in the body. You're going to fall down. Because actually, body shots sometimes, I remember the first time worse. I ever sparred in my whole life, I sparred with someone that was kind of good, and he kicked me right to the body. And it mm. felt like my body was froze. I was like, <laughs> yeah. like it didn't like hurt. It was just like, I was like stuck. You, you don't had know one of those do? ever? Especially when you don't know, right? Yes. So if you don't know and you feel that pain for the first time, you're like, yes. what in the hell is that? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Yes, you can hit him. But I'm yes. telling you, that's not the way Sean Strickland moves. It's I know, just not man. the be way he though. moves, bro. But but he's one of those guys that you got to be a little careful with. Yeah. Now, he faces off with President Trump, right? This happens yeah. still in the next 24 yes. hours. Same day. Obviously, he's not going to not going to fight President Trump. He yes. seems to support President Trump. You know what Kobe Covington told me? Kobe Covington told me that President Trump is a phenomenal fighter. And a good wrestler. <laughs> no, I'm stop, serious. Stop. Dude, I swear to God. Oh Colby Covington, gosh. Luis, pull it up on the video. 
invites me to his house in Mar-a-Lago, you know, he signed this beautiful suit the other day. And he calls yeah. me, he gives me game plan. He's like, Colby, this is what <laughs> you need to do in the fight. I don't want to reveal what he said. But President Trump can fight, President Trump, he can fight. He was a wrestler. President he was a wrestler. Trump can't fight, he can fight, man. He Dude, he got lunchboxes, bro. He got yeah. lunchboxes. He'll knock some of the fuck he out. He's very big. Colby Covington told me that President Trump is a phenomenal fighter and President Trump, like, helps him with his stuff. Bro, that's why he looked like he did in the last fight then. <laughs> Duh. Okay, so Sean, oh, Sean, this is you can very much prove you're the alpha without giving someone brain damage. So, Sean, listen, embarrass that man, humiliate him, whoop his ass. You don't need to give him brain damage. Like, what do you that, make this is that, a long term make, thing. Yeah, but what do you make? But for me, it was like the the fact that it happened at the PI that was mind blowing. That was you know the and the part that I didn't like. Um, you can see it in the video. Whomever is around there. Was start, they were throwing, they threw multiple towels. They threw like, a towel it's over. They threw it's it in over. multiple times. And he just kept killing them. It's, it's like, like Apollo Sean. Creed, bro. It's like Rocky and Apollo. Throw yes. the towel, stop the fight. The Russian has won. Yes. Let it be. And, but then, hey, okay. Daniel, I mean, but in all seriousness, there's never been a death in sanctioned mixed martial arts. But in boxing, there's been plenty of deaths. Oh, and yeah, so, plenty. I well, mean, because it, it, it's like the swelling of the yeah. brain after the after, fight. Yeah. After the knockout and the multiple punches that you take once you get yes. up after eight seconds, that leads to that brain damage where guys end up dying. Um, so fast forward 12 hours, he faces off with the former president. Then he gets into it with your boy Jake Paul. And this turns ugly. Well, right? Paul, Jake this Paul got mad about the Sneeko thing. Yes, yes. I but again, but here's the thing, right? Is Jake Paul just not Sneeko, but he went and got good at boxing? He yeah, was Sneeko. Jake Paul has a few videos of him doing something very similar to very untrained people also. Yes, I know. Yes. But so so gets, dumb. But he, he gets mad at Sean for doing what he did. Yes. But Sean then takes it to the next level. Sean wants to kill Jake yeah. Paul. Yeah. Sean says... And I'll read this right here, guys. If it were legal, I take your effing life with a smile on my face. Is there any place on earth I can take this man's life and walk away from prison? Actually, Jake, I'll make you a better deal because money can't buy happiness and you have plenty of it and you're still a, a very, very bad word. No cameras, me and you in the desert that would buy my happiness. No Instagram, no likes, no games. Just you, that's what I want. The 28 and 6 fighter Sean Strickland wrote. Bro, this is not Sean playing. This is like him. He wants to hurt Jake Paul. Yeah. What do you think annoys him so much about Paul that he went from like, I would go to Puerto Rico and box you to I actually want to kill you? Because Jake Paul immediately yeah. goes, a million dollars to come to Puerto Rico, we yeah. can box. Because yeah. that's what he does, right? Yeah. That's what Jake Paul kind of does. He's like he's a bit of a troll, right? He kind of trolls you. He makes you mad. He made me respond in a way that was not <laughs> becoming of who I am as a person and athlete. But he trolls you. But with yeah. this dude, this dude's talking about killing him. And the last person Jake Paul antagonized to the point that they got mad, remember Floyd Mayweather's guys tried to beat him up outside of that oh, arena yeah, in yeah. basketball uh -huh. and he ran away. So it's like, I don't know that this is the guy that he wants to play that game with. Yeah, I mean, I this is where another one, like, I don't know, taking people's lives. I don't know. I guess I'm not really cool with that. Um, so I guess if, <laughs> if Sean is, Sean's cool with killing people, I guess that whatever. He, he, um, has, he wants he, to know if he can. He <laughs> hasn't killed anyone. He just wants to know if he can. He wants re reasonable, to... reasonable question, I think. Uh, <laughs> so, but like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, he probably shouldn't box him because, um, unfortunately, MMA fighters don't do too well against Jake Paul. Kind of sucks. Um, so, <laughs> but I'd watch him box. I mean, Sean's a pretty good striker. He's a pretty um, good boxer. And yes, obviously, if they are to fight in a real fight, Sean would murder him if they wanted, you know, if you wanted to, if you want to take it to that extent. Um, but I don't know. Uh, I think. But he's hit me with the Jake Paul quote. He was, but Jake, Jake was Paul so thing. hypocritical because he has the same videos online. So it was kind of dumb because it's not like 
you know, you've never done this. We have video of you doing this. So then you being mad at someone else for doing this is really, really dumb. Is Sneeko one of his friends? I, I don't know this stuff. <laughs> Man, I don't know nothing. I was asking my wife, like, who's that lady standing next to Taylor Swift? I don't know Who nothing. Who was that? Uh, my wife said it was that lady named Blake Lively who's really famous. I oh guess. yeah, I know who she is. I've heard yeah. her name before. I don't know who she is. I, so um, I'm kind of done with that. And I'm done with all the Taylor Swift and football shit. I and I'm done with the Chiefs winning Super Bowls. It fucking um, drives me crazy. You thought I was gonna cry when they won the Super Bowl? Ah. It pisses me off, bro. It pisses um, me off about as much as Jake Paul gets pissed, pisses off Sean Strickland. Sean wants to kill him, but do you ever wonder, kind of uh, bent like? Man, I publicly, it would be like you running for president and me publicly endorsing you as my candidate is what you essentially did for Sean Strickland after no. watching him cry on that interview. Stop. You publicly endorsed him. I said he says some things that are really good. I, I mean, the one thing he said about Colby was hilarious. Um, I think he does make some good points. He has this thing, though. It's a very blind spot, and I don't know why he has it in his life. But like, he hates famous people, like really, he really bad. He hates, hates them. I mean, we, we can talk about what he said about Machine Gun Kelly, and I don't know nothing about Machine Gun that Kelly. Was awesome. he, that was awesome. He might be a d bag. I have no idea what's over. <laughs> but Sean has this thing. Well, for look at the way people. he was dressed. Though Machine Gun Kelly was dressed a little bit weird. I didn't look. Sean was mad was because coming. he was with Megan Fox, who in Transformers was like fucking amazing. Yeah. She was like the most amazingly beautiful woman on the planet. Now okay. they're running around like eating popsicles. Bro, you know back in the day when they had masks on for the for like the fights, all these celebrities would come and they would eat stuff because remember you could take your mask off to yeah, eat. Yeah. So they would have like popsicles and shit. They would eat popsicles and stuff what, to keep their mask. What are you even talking about? No, so like when they would have fights at the Apex yeah. Uh -huh. The celebrities, instead of keeping their uh, mask on, you, they'd look you. like lollipops and shit Something to say that they were in. eating. Yeah, 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 it's just so fucking ridiculous. Like, anyways, Sean, you're embarrassing to try to stop Sneeko like that. You weren't even able to drop someone with no experience while going all out. You're a horrid boxer that only picks. Hey, watch your watch mouth here. On inexperienced people. Watch this is mouth, Jake, Daniel. bro. Listen, this is Jake, no, no. though, right? This is Jake who actually boxed you, right? Yeah. You did, you're not a boxer, not but boxer. you know, I'll fly you to Puerto Rico. We can fight on camera. If you win, I'll give you a million dollars, half your net worth. But if you get dropped, you have to get a better tattooed on you. DM me, but just like Patty, I'm guessing you'll find a way to run away from me. So Sean did kind of find a way to run though, because How? this is... Is he showing up for a boxing match? He would go for you. If you think Sean Strickland would not go fight him, you're well, out then he of should mind. show up. Then he should show up for a boxing fight in Puerto Rico. I don't see why not. Mm. That's it. Listen, and you've guilt, you've guilt. I kind of say yes too much, right? But if someone wants to get it on, <laughs> let's get it on. Might as know? well fight, right? Yeah, it's if, a if you're Sean and, and Jake Paul says, let's go, you kind of got to go. He said, let's fight, let's fight. Yeah, but here's the thing, right? Like, you get a fight. That's the yeah. beauty in the, the world we live, right? Because ultimately, you can go fight. You can't kill him, but you can go fight. Yeah, go fight him. Go fight him. Ian Gary and Rampage have the oddest rivalry. So weird. First off, Rampage Jackson is a legend of the sport. We all love him. He kind of came at me a little bit a while ago. I, I don't know what it was about. I can't remember, but he kind of came at me. I didn't respond. Luis, if you look that up, you could probably show, I can, you can probably pull up what he said about me. Um, Alex, it was I something, said about you. it was something I said and he responded, never really did it. He needs um, some, he's going to smack the taste out your mouth. He was going to slap me. Why was he going to slap me, though? Like, what? I don't know why he was going to slap you. I don't know what I said to get slapped. I talk for a living. A lot of times I say shit that piss people off. It is what it is. But now Rampage is in the media space. He runs the Jackson podcast with Luke Rockhold and some other guys. He's on Ariel Hawani's show the other day, and he's talking about Ian Gary. Ian Gary now has become the butt of the joke for a lot of people. 
I am going to look. So, so I'm sitting down with Ian Gary next week. I hope right. I don't catch any strays because I'm friends with you because you guys are so disrespectful towards Ian, which I believe that you're completely wrong for. Well, Fair enough. Rampage was talking about him in a way where he called him. Daniel Cormier needs to watch what he says before I smack the taste out of his mouth. That's what but he it said. doesn't say what you said to him. Which is crazy because, like, come on, man. Like, you're going to slap comments me. about Slam KO at UFC, uh, I think oh. he might have just been being funny. Yeah, because I said because I said that we'd never seen it before twice yeah, in one night. Yeah, he was just being funny. Yeah, but but I had already seen Gerald Harris do it. He was, just being, he was being sensitive. Anyhow, yeah, he said that he was talking about Ariel, and he was like, I'm interviewing this kid. I don't know who he is. He's pretending to act like he didn't know who Ian Gary was, but you're having him on the podcast, <laughs> and he called him Ian the And then Ian decides he's not going on the podcast. You know what I say? Good on Ian Gary. Yeah, that's he's fair. That's for fair. And not allowing people to disrespect him. Yeah. You guys are too that's disrespectful fair. to that man. No, you know, I mean, my my thing was I would just go on podcasts, and, like, I went on uh, Logan Paul's podcast, and I think I verbally assaulted him. I made him look like a schmuck. I thought. I mean, my intellect's much much higher than his. Yeah, he tried talking shit, and I I don't know. Logan you can go Paul watch did. It. Yeah, I, I think I came off very very well on the podcast, but I mean, I mean, this is my opinion. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Like, I guess why would you go on the podcast? Because I think you're right. Because like, dude, if if you're talking shit, and you don't want me on the podcast. Why did you invite me here in the first place? I don't really need to come on. But you could always just come on and, and then you know counterattack the person. Something like that. But, like, do you get, like, I mean, is it wrong, though? Like, let me ask you this. Is it wrong for so many to have so many opinions of Ian Gary, his wife, their relationship, and all these things surrounding it? Because now, when it's getting to guys like Rampage, who yeah. are really removed from the sport, I don't know the last time Rampage fought, right? Isn't it a little bit know. much? And he is well within his right to do that. I mean, you're saying he's well removed, but he has a... Uh... He's got a podcast with fighters, so you think he would want to stay kind of up to date on, on the information. Um, he actually fought Fedor in 2019. I I would not have guessed that. Uh, he what? That was the last time Fedor he fought, right? In Bellator, and he lost to Chael in Bellator and King Mo. Actually, um, interesting. I forgot that. But um, he wants to slap me. Think about that. Like in 2019, he was yeah, losing no, to those guys. I was you. still the heavyweight champion of Daniel, the world. He's not being, he doesn't want to fight you. He just wants to slap you because you, you, you're, you're, you disrespected him by not recognizing he had one of the most epic slams of all time against Ricardo it was, Arona. It, it was, was a really beautiful. amazing slam. Dude, he was a monster, bro. He was, yeah. he actually looks like he's lost some weight too. He had gotten really big. He looks like he really looks big. good now. Yeah. Rampage. Hey, uh, Ian Gary, though. Does put like Jeff Neal's mugshot on his face, yeah. on his t-shirt. Hey, bro, did you know that when Ian Gary said that about Neil Magny, th that this is what they told me last week, and I was at dinner with someone. I'm not gonna say their name. Actually, you know what? I am gonna say their name. Fuck it. Uh oh, Ian Trouble. Gary is fighting against Jeff Neal. Yes, I'm gonna ask Neal, him huh? about that this week when I speak to him. I was with a couple of Jeff Neal's teammates, Kyle Crutchmer, who is one of our guys on Zinc yep. Entertainment. Um, and Rami's, uh, I think his name is Rami's Brahimaya okay. or something like that. Anyhow, they said that when Ian said that about, uh, Neil Magny and his children in court, they used that against Neil Magny. Bro. I saw that. Yeah. Did you know that? I, well, I heard it. I don't, I didn't, I didn't follow up to see it's true. That's the thing. You know, you kind of bust my ass, Daniel. I live a busy life. You you might live as busy a life as me. You have a lot of things going on. And so, like, you know, I scroll through things, but and I see them, but I don't have the time to, like, dig in to get to the bottom of every single thing I read. So, like, if I'm going to come on here and talk to you about it, I'm going to try to at least get a couple no. of quotes or kind of get an idea of it, but there's no way I can go all the way deep. And so, you know, like with Ian Geary, I don't know, the Ian Geary, he did kind of look, shitty in that situation and so what i would have done if i was him is, is come out and clear the air and say like you know i told you i listened to um whatever her name's book book is and i, I think it has to be parody like it's got to be a joke you know but no one said hey dummies this is a joke like you guys are dumb how could you possibly think this is real so he could have always came out and just cleared the air and said here's this here's this 
Her ex-husband doesn't live with us. Here's why my last name is this. He could have kind of knocked all the, the dominoes down, you know, but I don't know that he ever did that totally clearly. But he doesn't, maybe he doesn't care. Maybe, but then, then maybe he, he doesn't care. But then he shouldn't be mad about people talking about it. Mm, and I always right. said that to, I said that to every wrestler I coach that kind of achieves that. I was like, uh, if you don't want people to like be th saying things about you and guessing, you just got to say what it is. So like, if you if you have an incident where people are going to wonder what happened, you just need to come out and say this is what happened. Yeah. These are this is exactly. I don't want anyone to wonder. Here's what happened. Blah blah blah. I mean, yeah, but I think that I I think that's like I think that honestly is like responding to people online. It's almost like you validate them by discussing yeah. it. Sometimes yeah, but just like, I, but then don't care. But then don't care. But but he does. You can tell he does care. You know. So like, if you're gonna care, then you need to set the record straight. And if you don't like, you, you have, yes, a valid tactic is to not care, like you're saying. But he cares for sure. He cares. Well, I mean, how could you not? Bro, when people are talking about your significant other like that, it's yeah. like that's not fun. It can't yeah. be fun to no, hear yeah, constantly, especially for a young guy, right? Because the dude's only like 25 years old. Yes. Not like he's 35, 40. You know, he's like. 25 year old kid that's married to this gal yeah. that he loves with all of his heart. And, uh, but again, bro, like you, if you, if you like, if you're willing to play the game, then I think a lot of that comes back with you. Yeah. Like I knew that when I would approach or attack, uh, when Jones and I would be going back and forth. Yeah. If I said something about his wife or his brother or, I, I knew that married. something would be coming back in my direction in that regard, right? Because once you yeah. open that can, you can't really open Pandora's box when it benefits you and then stuff it all back in there whenever somebody attacks you in that way. Yeah. So when, especially if that came back to bite Neil Magny in that, like, yeah. in a real type of custody situation, that's not fair. And even that, right? When explaining those things, you would hope that, if he ever does say, well, this isn't true, this isn't true, this isn't true, my bad to Neil Magny for doing what I did because I didn't yeah. know that it would affect him in the way that it affected him. I think yeah. that would go a long way. But I do believe that in this instance, it seems as though, bro, I'm telling you, Patty Pimlet said it. Thank God for Ian Gary because everybody kind of forgot about me <laughs> when he was fighting on the last fight card. He was, I was like, yo, I was like, you, would you do anything different now? Because the fans seem to have turned on you. He goes, honestly, DC, thank God for Ian Gary, because everybody's so focused on him. They forgot mm -hmm. about me and the mistakes that yeah. I've made leading up to this point because yeah. it was all negative for Ian. Yeah, no, that's very, very, very valid. Hey, total, total sidebar. Two things. I got two comments. And one second. It and I think this time. Ian's doing the right thing. Okay. Before you I, sign. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Um, number one, did you remember did, uh, Rampage fought in Bellator for a long time, and they did one fight in the UFC and then went back to Bellator? Do you remember that? I didn't know that. That's weird. I can't, I can't believe that happened. Um, and then my second comment was, I sure thought something was going to get announced about UFC 300 at the Super Bowl, which we just... So we are, we are you know, just watched Super Bowl. Why didn't anything get announced? Guys... Our friends are back. The Game Time app is back. And y'all know how much we love the Game Time app at DCTV because the Game Time app gives you an opportunity to get last minute tickets to anything you want, whether it's basketball, football, mixed martial arts, comedy shows, the Game Time app has you. And how about this? Your boy DC is gonna help you get $20 off your first purchase by using my promo code DCTV. You know the last time I used the Game Time app? The boy Luis, Wanted to go to a UFC fight. And you know how that dude don't be inviting his girlfriend. He needed an extra ticket. So the boy DC got him. I went to the Game Time app, punched that promo code DCTV, saved $20 off, and then saved Luis's relationship. So guys, go to the Game Time app right now, download it, use my promo code DCTV, and save $20 off of your first purchase. Game Time, welcome back, my friend. And Luis, your boy loves you. I always got you, baby. I think they're having trouble with the UFC 300 main event right now. Dang. That's all I can think about.
That's okay. all I can imagine okay. is that they're having a tough time finding a main event. Which so did leads you see to John Jones we'll talk... tackle this, this rugby so guy? Did you see it? That, that leads to John Jones said that he was asked to headline UFC 300. Why but he, he says he's it? not healthy. Bro, watch that tackle. I sent you the video. <laughs> he tackles that dude hard as shit. He's healthy. Bro, watch he's how hard he tackles that He's got a shoulder injury. Guy. He's got a shoulder injury. A peck, peck. But watch the way he tackles this man. Well, he's got the peck issue. It was a peck, Yeah, but right? you tackle with your shoulder, Ben. Bro, you tackle. Go put, Luis, put the video. Put the video <laughs> in here. He tackled him so hard. There mm. was no let up. It wasn't light. It was hard. He picked this man up and put him down. Listen, you tackle a guy that Let's hard, you're ready, to, you're ready to fight someone in the cage. For he sure. tackled him? He tackled so the shit hard. out of him? You didn't watch it? I didn't watch it. Bro, oh, my God. I, Deanna, watch this. I watch, I watch some of the other stuff. I, okay, let me see. Oh, he tackled the shit out of him. That's what I'm trying to get. Got him with his chest, dude. He that tackled was, him so a, hard. Bro, that was a pretty good form tackle, though. Yes. That was a good tackle. Yes. The guy was holding. Bro, he tackled that dude devil's hard. Advocate, if I'm He's playing ready to devil's fight. If I'm playing devil's advocate, the guy was holding a pad, so he tackled the pad. He didn't oh, hit he his He stuck that dude hard. He did tackle the shit out of him. <laughs> and if I'm being if I'm being honest, I think, and I will I will put this like I think that when I I didn't know the video existed of him in this in this uh this comedy club. I didn't yeah. know that. I that don't, listen, I don't trust that. You can't see him. You can hear him. Hey, I sent you this video of me dropping Do you think... Mako with a body shot. I was that? To you. I, I, just, I got the video of me dropping Peyton Mako with that body shot. Oh, my Peyton God. To me. Go watch Do it. You... Oh, you barely hit him. <laughs> I only got one cough on. Do you think? <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> So what do you think happened? Do you think they dubbed over his voice? Because that no, was his voice. I'm just saying, listen, this is me. Because you're always yelling voice. at me for you're always yelling at me for, you know, not digging deep enough. And so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give John Jones the benefit of the doubt. It sure sounds like John Jones, but I can't see John Jones, so I'm not gonna trust it. I don't know, Ben. That sounds like <laughs> a lot, man. It might be him. Hey, I don't know. Hey, bro. I, I Ben, I will say this. I, I don't know because you're right. I can't see his face, but yeah. Ben, it definitely sounded like him. <laughs> it sure I, does. It sounded like him a lot, bro. Like, yeah. I, I don't know, man. Like, it just, it just. But so he should really highlight. I actually am kind of annoyed by the, the heavyweight picture because. Um, it sounds like, it sounds like more. It sounds like more people. It seems like more people are getting through. Right? Hold on. Uh, so, um, poquito. Un poquito. <laughs> poquito. Stop. <laughs> they turned him off. No. Hey, the bro. heavyweight picture, the UFC heavyweight picture is not good right now because you have Tom Aspinall. You have this new kind of exciting up and comer who now has a interim strap. He's got a partial belt, right? And now you got Jones. And he said, I won't even fight that dude. I want to fight Stipe. And so it's kind of like this really weird situation. And then John says, I'm not healthy. And then he's tackling these rugby players hard as shit. Like, what is even going on here? Well, problem is, like, they shouldn't. Problem is, the way it seems, like, maybe there shouldn't have been an interim title fight. Yeah. Because unless Tom Aspinall is going to be defending the interim championship, I, I don't know. Yeah, but they really need to do that. I think, though, like, oh, my God, this is going to suck because I'm going to get attacked by John Jones again. Yeah, it's John, all, it's John, all... you just let me say all this stuff because John John gets mad when, when you talk about Yes, him. and in most instances, dude, like when I was doing the whole, like, bad employee thing, I was actually giving him credit about how yeah. you can't get rid of him and all that, but he hung on. And it was really all, like, miss. It was weird, like, because... I did say those things, but I was saying that I had those same instances. I'd been that before, so it was, yeah. like, very odd. But he, here's – and this is where he's going to get mad at me this time. You say that the, the division is in a weird spot right now. But in most 
instances, when divisions are in a weird spot, he is kind of at the center of that division. True. But this is not me making stuff up. No. But, right. dude, you, I mean, the heavyweight division is actually kind of fun right now, right? Because Aspinall's young. He's new. Pavlovich hits hard. Um, you got the Jalton and Mil- Almeida guy who's undefeated. I don't, think, um, I don't know about pa- – I, I think with Sergey right now, I, I don't know how that knockout is going to affect him. Yeah, he but came I mean, I'm back just saying, and like, he was... a lot of exciting people at heavyweight. Yeah. But, but the champion is going to fight Stipe. One positive is that John did say – He's feeling really good right now, and he may stay after Stipe. So for a while, it just felt like he was going to walk away after he fight Miocic. Yeah. And so he said this, as impressed impressive as Tom is, he's not important enough yet to determine my schedule and my decisions. That's fair enough, huh? Yeah. If I were him, I would get after it. I would get after it. If you truly believe that you're the best in the world, then get after it. Go out yeah. there and compete. And the real fans will count your victories as champion. But don't let me slow you down. Go out there, kick butt, and make your money. That's what John said. And John said, if all that plays out in that way, he might stick around and he might continue to fight because he's excited right now yeah. about the prospects of his career going forward. That is at least positive for Tom. And right now, that's got to be something because lately, Tom hasn't gotten much good news in regards to his fight career, especially yeah. warning Stipe Miocic or John Jones, who, by the way, Tom said that he was offered the Stipe fight at UFC 300, which Stipe did not take. Yes, I, so I just looked at Stipe's record. Stipe, you know what his last fight is? March of 2021. So, I mean, we're talking about an almost... Like, I don't know, like, I, man, Steve is a legend. Actually, I'm just looking at his fight record and saying, like, holy shit, his record is, you know, his <laughs> last five fights, Francis, Daniel, 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 Francis, J, and then JDS, Overeem, Fabricio, Verdum, like. He fought a crap. lot of guys. That's like, that's a roster right there. But, but he hasn't fought in three years. Like, so why is he getting a title shot coming off a loss and a three-year period of inactivity? I don't know that it really makes sense. Like Tom makes so much more sense. Well, John, but John wants to fight him John because fight Stipe is considered yeah. the greatest of all time. Yeah. And if you've learned anything here recently, uh, guys can uh, kind of call for what they want in re- in terms of yeah. who they want to fight. We saw it with Sean O'Malley. Now that he's fighting Cheeto Vera. Yeah. And uh, even Ilya Taporia said, who fights next week against Alexander Volkanovsky, that if he wins, he's not giving Max Holloway, Yair Rodriguez, or any of those guys title fights. It's so good. Yeah, but he might get the screws put to him, right? I mean, you think they, they, they yeah, they give uh special things to special people, but uh, you know, Dana always well, we saw the documents with John Jones, right? They try to make happen what they want to make happen, right? And they do pick certain people they like and don't like, but they 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 try to make Fights happen, big fights. And if a guy trying to fight people, they don't really like that. So, hey, that's actually a good uh, segue because maybe the next time we talk, Daniel, we'll actually be able to talk about some fights because we haven't had any good fights in a while. Isn't that but crazy? UFC 298 is going to be really, really good. I think it's a great fight. And I love how confident Ilya Taporia is. I mean, it's almost like to that kid, yeah. it's a foregone conclusion that he beats Alexander Volkanovsky. But Ben, could it really be, could it really be that much of a lasting impact on Volk after losing to Islam? Uh, I mean, because that's got to be what everybody expects. Yes. Otherwise, you would not expect though that he was just drinking beer and not training? That's what he said. That's so crazy. Drinking every day. So, that was a bad idea. We talked about it was a bad idea for him to accept that fight at that point in time. It probably was. Hey, listen, he this, but this is a fighting man right here. This man got challenged and he said, I'm drinking beer. I don't give a damn. Let's go fight. You want to fight me? A let's special fight. talent would believe that he had a chance to I win know, under kind of wild. You got to be a wild man to do that. Hey, did you see his, his recent old person ad? I saw it. Oh Pretty my good. God. It was so good. He's I was good. laughing my ass off. Him and Marab Dewalish Vili are so fun to me. I think they're fucking amazing. They're did so you just see Marab's about Henry? Dude, Marab's out of his mind. Dude, why did Henry fire Eric? I mean, Henry's I, always had Eric. It was actually kind of sad, bro. I was I'm sad gonna, to see. 
Mm. Go ahead. Don't hold your tongue. Say it. I'm just hoping it's not actually. I. It was weird. It's on social media. I'm hoping I because I like both these people. I like Henry and I like Herrick. I, I hope it like he didn't actually fire him. I hope it was like just some mutual thing where Eric's just not going to be in the corner or something to that effect. Because I mean, we've got a fight here in six days. And we see this video on social media where Eric, Henry is fight, firing Eric, who's been with him for, I mean, he, he was, was a, a mentor kid. to him at the training center. So it's like, we're talking 2005 or something. You could tell Eric Hart just broke too. I felt so bad for him. Oh my God. He's a military oh. captain. Bro, he's, yeah. he, he, he served our country. Yeah. He's, he was in the military. And Henry does him like that? Is that how you people treat? Ah, uh, man, United there's got to be something Olympian. else. Henry wouldn't do that. You are a United States Olympian, and you're going to treat an Army veteran in that way? Man, you talk to Henry. Listen, you're you're the, you're our Olympic team captain, so you can go have a discussion with Henry this week when you see him. This is not okay. Guys, Ben, thanks again, man. I appreciate you always doing this. It's so much fun. Guys, until next time, like, subscribe, tell your friend to tell a friend. DC's got a YouTube channel. And you can get funky in the champ. Till next time, peace.